Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a tag that was actually started by Tanya from Bits and Bags and turned into a tag by Missy from Mims, Mims Luxury Bags. I can't remember Mims full channel name, but I'm gonna have it linked in the box below. So go ahead down to the description box and I will link her original video. This is Missy, most of you guys should know Missy but she turned it into a tag and the topic is my go-to no-brainer bags. So the first bag that I'm going to show to you today is a bag that I've been wearing for the weekend and that is my mini Marc Jacobs the tote bag and this is in spring blue. This is one of my favorite bags for spring and summer especially when you just want something that's going to be really easy, hold your necessities, and you could just run out the door and you don't have to worry that you're missing something. So you could really pack a lot into this bag. I have some tissues. I have some tissues, wallet, my Chanel pouch stuffed with some lipsticks and hand sanitizer and wet ones, Tide packs, all that kind of stuff. And you just pick this up, throw your things in, and out the door you go. So, so easy. This is nice and lightweight. It's compact, and I just love it. And, of course, the little poof just sets it off so cute. So, that's bag number one. Bag number two is this MZ Wallace small shoulder bag. They stopped making this, unfortunately. You might be able to find one pre-loved. This is in the MZ Wallace beautiful quilted nylon, and this is in the color Magnet. You could see this for a small bag is super, super roomy. I love the strap. The strap is so comfortable. It sits on your shoulder just perfectly, and when you have it filled, it actually kind of gets more of a dumpling shape, which I love. But this is just perfect because you could wear this summer and winter fits over your shoulder with no problem. You have no problem stuffing it, getting what you need. I love the internal organization in this bag. You have your nice big pocket here. You have a back pocket with a zipper, all lined in baquetta. And then you have a little mini pouch, which a lot of times I don't use, but sometimes I do. Sometimes I have some things that I just want to keep separated from the rest of my bag so that they, they don't kind of spill out and go all over. And I kind of don't care if anything happens to that pouch, so I'll stuff them in there so that my good things are a little bit protected. And guys, don't mind the hair. It was really kind of hot to blow dry it, so I just left it. My next go-to is one of my all-time favorite bags, and that is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessoire, and this one just happens to be in the Murakami Cherry Print. And I've talked about this before. I actually bought this on Fashion File when you could still get one, and this was considered maybe very good. You could see there's patina on the tab there, but anyway, when I bought this, it was, I think, $250, and I've seen some in this condition. Inside's really clean. No damage or anything anywhere on the canvas or whatnot, but you know, the, the patina on the vaquetta and the fact that it didn't come with the strap and the little bit of peeling on the zipper pull made the price come down. But even in that condition, you can't find these now for under about $750 or so. So this is really small, lightweight. You just grab a strap, whatever strap you wanna put on it, whether you wanna use a vaquetta strap, a chain strap, the coach multicolor strap, the pride strap, which I do use on this, and I love how it looks on this bag. Whatever you want to use, you just clip it on and out the door you go. You have plenty of room for your keys, a card holder, a wallet, my nose spray, which unfortunately I still am stuck taking, but this is just a great, great little bag. My next bag my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. Yes, Winnie, this is in my collection to stay forever and ever. This bag is just perfect for any time of the year, for any occasion, 
especially if you're going to be going out for the day and want something really comfortable and lightweight that you can wear crossbody. And this definitely fits the bill. There's plenty of room for whatever you need to take with you. And I do enjoy taking this bag with me if I have to go to an appointment where I need to carry some papers or if I'm going to be leaving with papers, like a doctor's appointment, for instance. You could just put whatever papers you need to save. Oh, here's a parking ticket. Whatever papers that you need that you want to keep out of the way, you could put in the back pocket. Plenty of room here. You also have the nice zip pocket in the back. Oh, and I have some papers in here too. I believe that this was from Secret Santa. And I may have taken that to work one day for some reason back in December. But this is really one of my absolute favorite, favorite bags. Even though the price has gone up to ridiculous ridiculous levels at this point. I think that this is close to $2,600, like 25 and some change. It's still a great bag and definitely still worth getting and putting in your collection. So it does come in the Empreinte, of course. It comes in the regular canvas and it comes in the reverse. And then sometimes they'll release it in limited edition canvases. So you have your choice. And then last but never least, my one of my favorite, favorite go-to bags is my Longchamp Small, which I have in this pattern and I also have in a plain burgundy color. And both of these are just fantastic. Why? It's just the right size. You can stuff a whole lot in here. And if you're worried about being caught out in the rain, or if you're going to some place where you're afraid about spills, the nylon, it's just so wipeable, so easy to care for. It's water resistant. And because of the lining that's inside, if it's raining, it's not going to penetrate through and wet whatever you have inside the bag. So that's a huge, huge plus. And hey, we have a whole bunch of stuff here that I didn't clean out from the last time I used it. So you know, when you have stuff like that in your bags, guys, you know that you're using them pretty often because you kind of don't have a chance to clean out everything and unstuff it before you pack it back up again. But this is the small size. I do like the extra small, but I think that this is a little bit more practical because you can fit books in here. You can fit a notebook. You could put an agenda. You could put all of those things if you wanted to go out for the day and take your planner if you were planning to go read somewhere, or I use this for a work tote because it holds exactly, exactly what I need. And this special edition is just, oh, I just love this bag. And everybody loves when I pull this bag out because I'm still trying to find one that may be for sale again, but these are a little bit pricey if you find them. So that's something to keep in mind if you do want one, but Look at that cute little design. I absolutely love it. So yes. So these bags really kind of win the prize for me for my best no-brainer bags. They're just so easy to use. They're lightweight. They hold enough. They're not fussy and really, really worth investing in and keeping them in your collection. And when I say investing, I don't mean investing that you're going to make any kind of money from them. I mean investing in yourself and your own personal self-care. So that's kind of what it is. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I'd love to know what your go-to bags are. So if you have a channel, I'm going to tag some people and you may have already been tagged and you may have already decided to do this, but if you haven't yet, feel free to do it. If I didn't tag you, I would absolutely love to. And please credit the lovely Tanya of Bits and Bags and Missy Mims Luxury Lifestyle. I'll link her channel. So sorry. So sorry. I'm just so used to her, imagining her in my mind as Missy the channel name, I just get screwed up. So please, please, please forgive me. 
But anyway, head on over there and head on over to Madison's Makeup World and get inspired to do beautiful eye looks for the summer. She's so, so talented. I just marvel at everything that she does. So head to Missy and then head to Madison as well. Guys, thank you so much. If you're new here, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. And if you're returning, thank you so much. I hope to see you again very soon. I should have another video on Wednesday. Tomorrow, I'm going to be live with Winnie B, I'm pretty sure. And it's a down and dirty kind of live. So please be there if you can. And I'll have something interesting on Saturday. So stay tuned. See you soon. Bye-bye.